All right. We actually recording right now. If y'all want to talk a little hey, shit. Man, what's hey. going on, man? The test is away. Yeah. Uh, damn, what the fuck the name is? <laughs> <laughs> we spinning the teeth. We spinning the teeth around the motherfuckers. Man, I'm on the first set, man. I can't remember shit, man. We're yeah, yeah. with it, though. We're with it. My yeah. nigga said spoon the teeth earlier. That nigga was trying to spoon? Yeah, we was trying to spoon it. Like. <laughs> taking over Atlanta right now. Okay, we here live on Smoothie Tea TV. Make sure you subscribe right down below. I am your favorite cup of tea. So I'm so excited to get into the Texas way with you guys. Okay, so we gonna go down the line. I'm gonna have everybody introduce themselves and their social media. Uh, what's up with it? I go by the name of Tommy Two. My Instagram is one Tommy Two BC. That's the number one and the number two. I'm from Dallas, Forward, Texas. You feel me? I'm from Dallas and Forward. I put it like that, but I'm born and raised in Dallas. But I came up in the funk man. Just grind, we ain't too deep with this shit, and we ain't going out like Takashi. No oh, count yeah. the show, you know what I'm saying? Can't go out like 6 9 Can't, Can't. never, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go out band, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight from the murder, you know what I'm saying? Like, strictly from the murder, like, that's it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never lived nowhere else but the murder, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. You can follow me on Instagram, Guala underscore Cobain. And I'm Mad Max. I'm NCG Mad Max, no cap. On Hood, we got. It's the game on Hood, this Guala, this Tummy 2 on Hood. We in all in different games, you know what I'm saying? But we all family yeah, on yeah. Hood. We all from the same city, basically, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. from Dallas, we from Fort Worth. That's just like a 20 minute like drive. 20, we all family minutes. like a motherfucker, but we in the A with this shit. We gonna rock out. We far away from Hey, but y'all said earlier though, cause I said the Dallas Fort Worth area, and y'all was like, man, don't group that shit. You know, it's like Atlanta and Savannah, like damn, you know? So how, like, Y'all wanna, is that like a thing oh, in yeah, Texas? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't like, no, it's a thing, but it ain't. It ain't no yeah, thing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know. Everybody, we fuck with, we, we fuck with Dallas people, you know what I'm saying? They fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? It's the same, but like, it's just like, cause we, like, our rap scene now, like, we trying to build us a name, like, Forward want a name, just like Dallas. They got Yellow Bees and all these Trap Boy Freddies and shit, like, we got people that's, you know what I'm saying? We, it's us, you know what I'm saying? So we want our own, that's Forward. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna come to Dallas, like, we want people to come to our city, yeah. but right now it's not nothing for people to come to. Like, yeah, uh, so we trying to make it that way. So mm -hmm. that's why we like be strong on be strong that. Separate, on that shit. Like, not even just separate. Yeah, not like, just separate. Just we just let it be known. Yeah, yeah. basically. Right. Forward is forward. Forward is forward. forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, yeah. shit, since y'all saying, you know, y'all want to put on for Fort Worth and you know about Yellow Beats and certain artists in Dallas, who are some artists besides yourself that we should tune into in Fort Worth? Uh, mm. for shit show, uh, my brother K Wanda, yeah, uh, Kenny B, Kenny, Kenny B, B. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, goddamn, you got yeah. FOE Walk, man, yeah, you got yeah, goddamn, yeah. you got a lot of motherfuckers out there, like, it's the people out there grinding, like, yeah, yeah. grinding hard, yeah, like, no cap. Yeah. The city looking real good right now for, she for sure. everybody from every side, from the east side, mm -hmm. south side, south side, everybody doing huh. some splurge, he and Alderson, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slurge and Alderson, but that's all cold. close. Yeah. Like we recorded all the time. Our studio yeah, was in Alderson, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember going to Texas and all in just like a 30 minutes of comfort. It was like going through all those cities. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. She yeah. Quint and he from Austin. Yeah, he from yeah. Austin. How did you link with him? Oh, like, that nigga was going crazy on Say Cheese and they was like 16 year old. Like some, I'm like, damn. Like, I'm 18 at the time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, little bro going hard, you know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, when I was 16 and shit doing this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? So I told him, I like, yo, she hard. And bro, DM me, like, yo, she hard too. She, let's do something. See, I sent them something, and then it's like, we've been close to it, like, ever since. We got, like, three songs now. Like, I done had, like, pot, bro, bun me out of jail and all that. Like, got me a lawyer. Like, that's a real nigga. It's a real yeah, nigga out sure, there. Sure. Damn, how yeah. long How long ago was it when y'all recorded that track? When y'all started working together? Uh, Our first song, that Robert song, like, I did that probably, like, eight months ago, like, nine months ago. Our first song. Like nine months ago and just like I'm in jail like since too. after that and nah, all that so like we had like a little relationship so like I fucked with him when I got out I fucked with him so she was my partner. Okay. And then you got a joint called Takashi. Yeah, Takashi. Yeah, yeah with Rizzo Rizzo man. Yeah, Shout out Rizzo Rizzo. Shout out Rizzo Rizzo. Why you name it Takashi though? Because that joint got a lot of bays and shit uh, give you a lot of energy watching uh, the video. The I'm song, putting the link in the description. It wasn't it wasn't even originally called Takashi. It was just so crazy how the shit had how it came. It was just like God did it. God put it together itself. Like the song was originally called "One on My Hip in My Pocket," but around the time before I put when I, like when I was getting ready to drop the song, Takashi had went on trial 
Mm. And so that was just the main part that everybody was hearing. Like, I ain't mm -hmm. going out like Takashi. Because I ain't had nothing to do with Takashi. Mm -hmm. I just said, I ain't going out like Takashi. But that was just like the catch part. So I was like, fuck it. Why it's going, I'm going to just name the song Takashi. Because that was going at the point in time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His trial was up. So everybody was still back searching him and shit. So mm -hmm. the song had just went crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My city, when I dropped it, I just came home too. I had been locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I can't, I don't do the first shot drop. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. Here, D. Mommy asking what what had happened behind getting locked up? Just a legal situation. I had been on the run for like two and a half years. Damn. And I had turned myself in. I was just tired of doing this shit. Just, you know, just other shit. Yeah, just, like, you know. So, how long were you incarcerated? Like nine months. Okay. That's not bad for running for two years. Yeah. Not bad. I won. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Smoking big ass. For sure. But shit, that shit over with. I came home. My main thing was when I come home, I would tell the bubble out of here. I just want to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just continue going down the same route. I'm going to try something else. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he was just like, bro, I got you. Just trust me. I just trust it, bro. And then, like, the music shit just started just picking up on his own. Like, organically, like, Jimmy, like, back in the force about that while we were here now. You know? And then, while the COVID ain't, man, you know, you got the best for last for the last yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah. Fire, I'm yeah. sure, but yeah, sure. you know, do you have you're a part of a is it a label or is it a collective called Inner Circle? Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, it's a it's a collective, but you know what I'm saying. It's really like, it's like a, a management company. Life, you know what I'm saying. I don't really just be looking at it like no management, you know, you know, because this shit keep me out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would be keeping me out of trouble? So I just be looking at this shit like they they my big brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't really be looking at it like, oh, this is my manager, like, nah, this is my big brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause he wants the best for me at the end of the day, so, the shit really, like, that's why I went with what I went with, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit really not our life, but this, this family, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Well, you mean, like, you was getting in trouble, like, you know, did music kind of, like, save you, or was that something that kind of, like, brought you into a different realm? Like, what was going on leading you to do music? I mean, because, you know, shit, when you ain't got no money, you do it, like, you do a lot of evil shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start like, doing shit like you wouldn't really find yourself doing. Like, damn, what am I doing? Like, shit, I had to just step back and just look at it, like. And then I had, I lost my dad too, so like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like, step back and looked at life like, man, I don't really want to die with nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause my dad died with nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he only had enough money to bury himself, that's it. So I was just looking at life, I just took life like, why are you more serious? And this rap shit like, why are you more serious? Like, I'm put a hundred percent in it, you know what I'm saying? That shit been working. Dang, I'm sorry to hear about your dad, because I know when something happens like that, that can really change you or just push you to see life for what it is, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so hard. Okay, so you got a project, Rare, Rare Breed from Normal, you know what I'm saying, that recently dropped. So tell us a little bit about when somebody presses play, what type, what can they learn about you from that project? Shit, when you press play on that motherfucker, shit, hopefully on the practice set or something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it just vibes. Like the whole tape is just like vibes. I'm really big on vibes. Like wavy, wavy. Yeah, wavy. yeah like I listen to a lot of south music. You know what I'm saying? Like my bitch, her music playlist harder than mine. Cause, like I don't listen to gangster music. I listen to like bitch shit. Like not even just bitch shit, but like shit that's like south, like Prince, like Michael Jackson, like Frank Ocean, and like. I just, like Kanye West, and I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just be trying to get out of my comfort zone and do shit to go get that bad bag. You know what I'm saying? Shit, just, I think. Would you say y'all are just homies, or would y'all ever be like a super group? You know what I'm saying? Since y'all rock each other. These my niggas. Yeah, these. So, I've been knowing him since I was 12. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 20 now. Oh, God. How did y'all yeah. link up at 12 years old? School. School. School like a motherfucker. <laughs> Just like these niggas in Atlanta be going to school. Hey, finish, yeah. finish school. Man. <laughs> Everybody watching this motherfucker, man. Finish school. Man. Finish school. Don't, man. Drop degrees, don't drop out. Don't drop out, man. I ain't even get, I ain't even <laughs> drop out. That ain't cool. Man. I, I dropped out. I dropped out. I got kicked out, man. No, you dropped see, out. See, that ain't yeah. cool. Everybody I got a goddamn reason. Me too. I had a reason. I had a reason too. Okay, okay. So, so what was the reason? My mama was in jail. I got a little brother and sister. So, you know, my stepdaddy drove a truck. So, ain't nobody gonna be there to watch him. 
So mm -hmm. I drop out of school so I could be there to my little brother and sister. But when mom got a jet, she was just like, you want to go to school? And I, by this time, I know I already started doing some other shit. Doing other shit. So I was like, nah, fuck this. Okay, did anything happen to you that you had to drop out? <laughs> yeah, I, I dropped out really because like, man, fool, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like, that shit dead. You know stay in school though. Yeah, stay, stay in school. school. Yeah, stay I don't know what school. Stay in school. Stay in school. Man. school. Stay in school like man. me, but I just couldn't like I couldn't flow in them up. But it was my senior year though. It was my senior year. I don't know why I dropped out, but I just couldn't flow with that motherfucker, bro. Like I get suspended every day. I can't. Yeah, like I type of shit, bro. So I just told my mom I just came home like mom, I ain't going back. She was like, what? I said, I ain't going back to school. I'm finna go to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? She like, what? She's telling her, I'm finna take this rap shit serious. Like, this is my life, you know what I'm saying? So she, that's why I left school. Like, do this rap shit. Ooh, speaking of this rap shit, man, this shit is expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's hella politics. I know politics. this shit is it's politics. <laughs> politics. <laughs> it's so much shit you gotta do to get, even to get people to press play on your shit. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. look at you. So, like, what is, like, the end goal in, like, five, ten years? Where, like, what's the end goal for you guys? I won't be just solidified. Like I don't, I don't, I won't be solidified. Just I don't put my people in position. Like my thing is to build something. Like not just for me. I want to build some legacy. Like that's gonna be here after me. Like this ain't just about me. It ain't just about the music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, the end goal. Five, ten years from now, I wanna be for sure. Like solidified in the game. It's somebody that's doing business, not like, just music. Like bro came in the game and did business. He handled business. What about you? Shit, me, like five, ten years from now, I really want to be like, really want to be like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga done won Grammys and shit. Like he said, like, I do this shit for my people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do all this shit for my people. So, like, five, ten years from now, it'll be like just well on, like, my empire just all the way yeah. built. Like, shit, Basically. you know what I'm saying? Like, shit already on steroids is what I'm doing right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just can do what I really want to type shit. Like, five, ten years from now, just blessing my folks. You know what I'm saying? That's really the main goal. Okay. And then shit, what we gonna see you 10 years from now? Shit, even 20, even 30. <laughs> I see as fuck. I see as <laughs> I, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, know who, I ain't got nothing right now. No chain. I ain't never had a grill in my life. I ain't got no yeah. earrings. I don't have no earrings. None of that shit. So when I do look like that, everybody gonna know. Like, they gonna be serious. They gonna be like, yeah, man, man. He made it. He made it. Cause I ain't gonna never get that shit. No fake, no nothing. No regular nothing. But so. Yeah. Whenever they see me with my shit, they gonna know uh, Mad Max, then yeah, he got it. And my people gonna have it. Everybody around me, like, so, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I get that shit, everybody gonna get it. And make Shout it out by folks. Greasy, man. Shout out Greasy. Shout out Greasy. Shout out Greasy. Man. Shout out Greasy. 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 Shout out 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 what happened? Oh, <laughs> hey, you know, 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 you Okay, I've heard about that, right. I didn't okay, know so. the white man, but I heard about that. We didn't know nothing. We knew nothing about it till we got to Atlanta. In the white man. And everybody looking at us crazy. crazy. <laughs> we pull up to the mile, we park. This bitch say, oh, hell nah, no. That's, that's the white man. Park. She thought that's the white man. That's that sexual, uh, that's that sex trafficking, man. That's it. Take off. No. No girls want to talk to us, nothing, bro. We never riding in white men, no. That's the last song. Oh, my God. So we have been nervous. Future references, you going to see us back in the black men. <laughs> Riding around in white van, looking nervous. Yeah, that's fucked up though. That's fucked up. That's fucked up experience. <laughs> fucked up, <laughs> we didn't get no play this weekend, bro. Just cause I'm cut up a van, bro. Like, yeah. Damn. That shit wet. Fucked up all the plays. Man. Shit. What is the scene? What is? Cause I'm the voice of the Indies. I help a lot of underground artists here. I throw a lot of showcases and things like that out here. So what is the scene like in Dallas and Fort Worth? Oh, Do y'all feel like people support each other? Yeah, right now, uh, right now, who's supporting each other right now is Fort Worth and Arlington. Like, we done, yeah, we work yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, Fort Worth and Arlington. From us, the Kenny B, the Splurges, the Sensei Miners, yeah. the BLW, yeah. we are working together from Fort Worth and Arlington right now. Like, 
is under under one umbrella. We obvious dirty glove. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get us wrong. That is we fuck with that, but this is like they haven't got on board as yeah. far as what we trying to see, like the bigger picture. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, never eat alone. Shit. You know what I'm saying? We eat out. We can eat together. They print this shit every day. Every day. You bro. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what we on right now. And then it's just it's the youth. It's us coming together collectively. Like, cause we already got names ourselves. So it's like these motherfuckers just trying to. They trying to keep us out, so fuck it, we gonna use our name mm -hmm. and the shit we got going and people in our circle, we're gonna build our own shit, they're gonna work with us. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on right now. We that's an auditor. I mean not that's an auditor, but forward an auditor for sure. Working together. You know what I'm saying?